Well, the deaths of actor Chadwick Boseman and longtime sports journalist Jamie Samuelson raising awareness about the number of younger people being diagnosed with colon cancer. It's a trend that creates a major challenge for doctors. Our own Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with a closer look at why. Doc? Yeah, Kimberly, you know, colon cancer cases in people under age 50 have been rising by about 2% annually in recent years. Now, traditionally, colon cancer screening started at age 50. That recommendation has been pushed down to 45, but that still leaves a number of patients that won't be picked up with routine screenings. I think it's fair to say 45 is the new 50. But screening should be started at younger ages for people at higher risk for colon cancer, says Dr. Joel Apple, Chief of Hematology and Oncology at DMC Sinai Grace. That includes those with a history of inflammatory bowel diseases, people who received radiation to their abdomen or pelvis, and anyone with a family history of colon cancer. It's also important to watch out for warning signs, such as a change in bowel habits, blood in the stool, rectal bleeding, stomach pain, weakness or fatigue, and weight loss. When you have signs or symptoms, it's no longer about screening. It's about getting a test to look for colon cancer. And of course, the gold standard test, whether it's screening or whether it is signs or symptoms, the gold standard is colonoscopy. For those embarrassed about their symptoms or hesitant to seek help, Apple has this advice. Think of those that you love uh, and those that love you and would want you to act at a time when you can identify the disease earlier, uh, because uh, as we all know, early detection saves lives. Apple says Chadwick Bozeman is already helping raise awareness. Hopefully this is a, 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 another of a series of wake up calls that we all seem to need uh, when it comes to uh, uh, cancer screening. He will save lives even after he's gone. Yeah, colon cancer is in fact more than 90% curable when it's detected in the early stages. Now the DMC has a quiz that you can take to help determine your risk factors and also learn more about what you can do to lower your risk. And you can find that link on the health page at clickondetroit.com. So, so what do we know about what's driving this increase in younger people being diagnosed? Well, of course, that really is the question, and it's just not clear. It's thought that higher rates of obesity may be partly to blame, but researchers are also looking at changes in our diet, in the use of antibiotics, and our gut bacteria, the gut microbiome. And it may ultimately just turn out to be a combination of factors, not one single cause. Clearly something for more research. That's Back right. To you. That's right. But in the end, if you feel like something is wrong, you need to speak up and talk to your doctor for sure. Okay. Thanks, Frank.